Hello and welcome everybody. Today we are looking at some chips that I'm interested in getting. Now I ordered these for myself. I went to chiplab.com, you can go request a sample set. And I didn't tell them who I was, so this is legit, like something I'm interested in, I'm just bringing you along for the ride. Now, for those of you that follow the channel, you know I went through Paulson and I ordered some of these from their blue chip promotional line. Yay! However, they no longer offer these. Thanks a lot, Paulson. And so I need some more custom chips that I can hand out to friends or people I meet randomly or use as golf ball markers on the course. So I was thinking about going through Chip Lab. One reason why we'll talk about here is one of the things that I think is promising is the minimum order on some of these, or at least when I checked, everything is subject to change. The last time I checked, the minimum was 25 chips. Well, that's perfect. It's like I can get what I need and I don't have to worry about, like Paulson required me to get at least, I think it was 300 min order. And if you're going to order something like that, you want to order at least, you know, hundreds of them, in my opinion. So these are interesting to me. You can see I've already been playing with them. These are, <laughs> they, they stuck this like sticky tack on here. So I've been peeling these off and I've been looking at them and they have merit. So I'll tell you my thoughts here in a minute. First, we should, because when you peel these off, it says 40 millimeters, and here it says 12 grams. This one says 13.5 grams. So there's going to be weight differences here, and I want to understand the weights. You know me. I like to understand what's going on. But before we get to the weights, let's actually quickly just step through this. I want to, this is all on video, so if I these get out of order, or if they're out of order, let me know. We have 8 spot. Oh, that makes sense. We have solid. Again, no edge spots. That makes sense. Eight stripe, it looks like those are pretty narrow, not quite one quarter inch. Would you say that's three quarters of an inch? See, this is where, this is where, buckle up everybody, this might be a ride. If my heater kicks on, I'm going to uh, pause the video as well. Okay, let's calibrate this. Hold on a second. It's going to be a longer, <laughs> I can tell you right now. Everybody's like, here he goes, being really pedantic. Look, see, that doesn't look like a quarter inch to me. It is almost a quarter inch. Here, let's do fracks. I want to see. So if I'm really pedantic, that is 730 seconds as I measure it. But is that closer to 3 sixteenths or 1 quarter? See, there's 3 sixteenths. I don't know if that's 3 sixteenths but it's not quite one quarter. Do you see how annoying that is? Because I can see green in between there. So it's between, let's just call it one, I don't know. To me, they look smaller than one quarter. I'm gonna want this in millimeters. So we'll come back to that here in a minute. So edge, all right, so we have double, dual split dual edge spots, okay? And But they're all, they're white. So I don't think there are edge spots patterns that you can choose just the inlay here this is the custom part and then we have a double stripe one two three four five six double stripe split again this looks like one eighth of an inch then we have just a solid eight well is that not centered does that not look centered to you because it looks like this one is it because of the background here let's pull that off yeah it was because of the background yeah okay <laughs> i was like that was that's way off center but it looks like it's just that okay so Two-tone eight spot, okay? So that's interesting, they have different edge spot colors. Three-tone, dual edge spots, again with that between three sixteenths and one quarter inch edge bar there. And these feel plasticky to me, metal slug. And then we have the three-tone gem. And looking at it, I can see obviously this one has a mold here. This one has kind of a ring, but not really much of a mold. This one has nothing, it's just flat. So that little external ring right here, okay. And then these are all very similar. All right, this one just has no edge spots. I like the solid one out of these top ones. This one also feels interesting when I was playing with it. It feels light. Like this feels, let's weigh it. While we're at it, let's weigh these here. Let's see if I can sort this out. All right, all right, hold on. We already measured this. I wanna get this out of the way. So let's do this first, all right? So I'm just gonna measure some of these. 39, that's very close to 40. All these on the paper, say 40 millimeters. And looking at them, they're all really close to 40. 
Let's make sure we're zero here. Oh, we're point one off. Zero that bad boy. Okay, so 40, very close to 40, very good tolerances on that one. Oh, paper coming off. Very close to 40. Yeah, so these all look like they're very close to 40 millimeters. When I pick these up, I was looking at this carefully. I don't see any flashing, so there's no extra sharp plastic. You know how when they mold plastic, sometimes you get that sharp edge? This doesn't have that. These, these the samples, actually feel really good. If you have an experience with any of the custom ones that you've ordered having flashing around the edges, let me know. This one looks like it's been sanded, so it has some sharp edges. But that's from the sanding, it looks like, not from the molding process. So it's not flashing, it's just a good sharp edge, which I like. Huh, interesting. Look at all this. The glue is stuck on this label. All right. I don't want to throw that on my carpet. I'll put that here. All right. Your logo here. All right, we'll talk about the website here in a minute. Let's put this back if we can. All right, so we've had a look at those. We've measured them. They're 40 millimeters pretty consistently. Now, now, now is the time. I want to figure out the weights because to me, this blue one feels different than all the rest. Because here it only says 12 grams and 13.5. See, this one's 10 grams, 10.9. What's funny, because this one, a lot of people say, oh, well, this one is going to feel the cheapest. But if you take real casino chips, like HSI, Horseshoe Southern Indiana, this is a real casino chip, real obsolete casino chip. You throw that on there, 9.3. Guess what? Closer to weight to this. Do, we, do you want to do another casino chip? Here, I have some new Jack Cincinnati secondaries. Oh, seven, wait, is that even right? That can't be right. Wow, that's one of the lightest pulsons I've ever seen. I knew they were taking the lead out of their chips, but that's phenomenal. I love that. All right. Anyway, so I totally got distracted with that. Now these I'm expecting, so I'm pulling the solid one out here. Meaning no edge spot. See, this one's heavier. This one's, what, one gram heavier? Uh, is it one gram or not quite one gram? 11.2. This one was 10.9 or Yeah, so all right, they're really close. They're right around 11 grams. So these are very similar. Now we're moving to the H stripe. See, now we're in 11.5. So that's one. Uh, maybe not quite one. It's a little bit heavier. Yeah, these are all going to be between 11 and 11 and a half. Interesting. And now we move down here to these ones that say 13.5, right? Yeah, very close. I'd say that's within tolerances, 13.2. Let's pull the last one off here. I don't want to pull this white one off because it has glue stuck on it. 14. Point, oh, that's significantly heavier. Yeah, this glue. Anyway, oh, let's just measure it. Probably similar, 14. Point five. All right, nice and heavy. So the so let's get these out of the way. Get that out of the way. Get this out of the way. All right, here we go. So I really like these. I think these have a nice look to them. I'm not sure if I like this crystal flower looking mold. Nah, actually, not. This is one that I really like for, for just a promotional chip. I think this has a nice clean look to it. This is something that I'm interested in. How hard are these labels stuck on? Oh, wow. I just reviewed the... Wow, that label is on there. Good. Can you see how I'm damaging the label trying to get that off? That is a solidly applied label right here. I just reviewed these slow play last week. And these labels, like I peeled these labels off pretty easily. You know, they just kind of come off. Great, there's another one ruined, thanks a lot. But this one, I'm having, here my heater's kicking on. I'm gonna put this down and I'm going to be back in a minute when I have cleaner audio. All right, so this label is applied very, very well. And I'm looking at these two, actually, I might go with the solid because I like the weight of these a little bit more than the heavier. And I don't need the edge spots for a promotional chip. Eh, we'll see. And then the three-tone gem. Now, this is where it's interesting. So if you read here, it says inlay is available on three-tone gem only. 
So we move to the gem, and it is different. If you look closely here, can you see that there's, where I was sticking my finger now, there's a little trough around here where I can get my finger into that. But around here, it actually looks, so there's this up here, but it looks like they actually embedded this into, they actually inlaid it into the chip. That's so weird looking. Like, it just, it's so... It feels like this, when I run my fingernail up, when I hit the purple, it feels like it stops, like there, this is lower than the plastic that's in, so it really is like an inlay. That's kind of impressive. It's not dramatic, but it is there. And obviously they have this decorative circle around the outside of it, but that's pretty interesting. That might be a real inlay there. So, wow, very nice. So I was looking at some of these, and I can't remember which one, Minimum order 25 chips. They allow you to just put in your tech. So if you don't have custom artwork, you can just type things into their design tool they have online. So very convenient. So you can just type whatever you want in here, get a custom chip. You can use it as promotional chip or like you can customize a poker set, like a small poker set. So if you're looking for a small customizable set, this might be the best option. Because if you're talking about changing the color of your edge spots, you're talking about, like, for example, the way Paulson does it, you're talking about, you're going to have to get set up for it. And if you have different molds, like through classic poker chips, you, you know, how long are you going to have to wait? It could be months and there's going to be minimum orders. You don't want to, you know, store, you're not just going to order one chip, right? You're going to order them in bulk. So I think this is a great value option for people like me who are just looking for certain things. Yeah, I, trust me, I'm, it's all in the works. I'm going to get custom sets. All right. Just need <laughs> Easy does it, but right now we're, I'm looking for some more promotional chips just to replace those those ones I showed you earlier. So interesting. Let's do some sound tests. I know they're different here. Maybe I can keep these three separate from those four. And there's glue on these. Eh, whatever. We'll see how it works. So there's the sheet. Uh, I'm not gonna remember where any of them go, but it's going over here. All right. Uh, those sound clanky. Oh wow, these sound. Wow. Those sound soft, butter, like butter. All right, uh, I'm gonna play a hand. Don't worry about it, folks. We're gonna use the Copac cards again. Last time I used the Marion Pro poker. Is that what I used last time? We're gonna use Copac today. All right, so let's do some sound tests. Let's compare scroll ceramics against some of these metal slug chips. These are metal slug chips. Ah. I screwed up. Anyway, we'll just compare them to each other. Here we go. So these were purchased from Apache Poker Chips. These were purchased from Design Lab or Chip Lab, chiplab.com. So we're going to see if they sound different. Actually, very similar. All right, so. All right. Did you want to hear this one versus this one? Very different. All right, ceramics. These are brighter and louder sounding. They, they're more clinky than ceramics. That's weird. Huh. Again, very different. I only have three of those, so it's kind of hard to... Huh, that's pretty close. Again, very different. Interesting, interesting, these chips. I'm genuinely, I think I'm gonna have to order some of these. So we'll see how that works out. I'll, I'm not sure when, it'll be probably later this year before I get around to that. Anyway, let's plot some Copag. You want to pull off the jokers. I saw a card that doesn't belong here. Yeah, this one doesn't belong here. And we're going to gold it up. All right, here we go. A little weave shuffle. Give it a little weave. 
Yeah, and thanks for your, your responses, everybody, about Copac cards. It's because I've had these for a while, but they're not my main deck that I, they're not one of my main, like, go to cards that I play with. My dad loves his bridge size chem cards. That's what we play with a lot, so. All right. If you're at home and you'd like to play along, grab your deck and tell us what you had in the comments below. It's not for anything, obviously, we could have the same exact same. You can just say whatever you want in the comments. All right, let's deal. And we'll burn, we're gonna skip, obviously, when there's no point in having betting cycles if you're not betting anything. Oh, look at that, six, oh. Oh, you shouldn't have folded six, two. Uh-oh, uh-oh. I haven't even looked at my cards. I don't even know what I have. I raise you. Because I have, oh wow, that's pretty cool. <laughs> I win. You thought I ran bad, uh huh? It's all just a guys. Somebody's gonna, you know what? Somebody's gonna rock up just because I have that. Somebody's gonna have ten king or a six. Ha ha! Finally beat Jane Doe over here. Well, that was very nice, Matt. The smell of these Copac cards hits you, doesn't it? I can smell. I can smell them. Volatile organic compounds. VOC. All right. Let's get this covered up so you don't spill all over everywhere. So I want to hear people's testimonials and thoughts about Chip Lab. Is this uh, something you're... Look, here's a Sharpie. It snuck its way into the, the screen, so I might as well show you what's peeking in. What are your thoughts about uh, Chip Lab? Have you ordered from them? Good company? Any quality issues? Any? <laughs> are you with all? It seems like all mass-produced things. There are. There's going to be some interesting things. So, I'm interested to hear your thoughts about these. What you're looking at here, these samples, and I'm interested to hear your experience with with Chip Lab. As usual, if you want to support the channel, you can. Visit my Amazon shop. I'll put a link in the description below. And a huge thank you to my patrons. If you, I'm accepting general support, so just for you know, running the cost of running this channel and everything, it really helps out. I appreciate my patrons. Give you credit if you want. There's no obligation to have your name listed. If you'd like your name listed, I'm happy to to list it within reason. People <laughs> sometimes people make odd requests, and if it's I'm uncomfortable with it, it's not going on the channel. I don't know if anybody's watching right now, but. I really like, I really like these two, the most. I could really see this doing well as a promotional chip. I need to look at the colors, and to see if I can design something. It's really nice. I wonder if this label comes off easier than the others. Now that's on there. Gosh, that is annoying on there. Really good to a point of being annoying that I can't cut it off. Buckle up. We're going to. Oh, and I'll just put this one away. Aren't you guys glad you stayed to the end of the video? How many people do you think left early? If you left early, leave a comment below with blank, just a blank space. All right, you're coming off. Here, wait, I, I don't like that. Here, I don't like this one. Let's get this one off. Oh my goodness, look at that. That is really on there. Holy smokes. My heater's coming on yet. All right. Well, that didn't work out very well. Where's my blender? Where is my blender? This is super legit on there wow all right i'm gonna need more than a knife to be continued thanks everybody <laughs> i'm out <laughs>